Ben Askren was one of the most gifted grapplers of his era. Known for his poofy fro and dominating his opponents on the ground, he was cruising through the MMA world until he wasn't. A guy who was once the best wrestler in the country became the butt of many jokes within the fighting world and ended up on the wrong side of history. But where is Ben Askren now? I'm Riley Wynn and I'm here to tell you just what happened to Funky, aka Ben Askren. Before Ben Askren stepped into the octagon, he was one of the best college wrestlers of all time. In his four years at Missouri, he made it to the finals every year and was a two-time national champion. He was the second person ever to receive the Dan Hodge Trophy multiple times. With such an extensive wrestling and grappling background, it was an easy transition for Askren to start an MMA career. Askren signed with Bellator where he would show off his ground game skills. After winning the Bellator title and absolutely dominating all of his opponents, he moved on to fight in one championship in 2014. Just like in Bellator, he continued his unblemished record via his grappling skills. In 2018, Askren signed with the UFC under the first ever trade agreement between the UFC and one championship. He won his first fight in the UFC via submission. Big shocker, I know. To this point in his MMA career, Ben Askren was 19-0 which is insanely impressive. But on July 6th of 2019, Ben Askren's legacy would forever change in a matter of seconds. At UFC 239, Jorge Masvidal knocked out Askren with a flying knee in the first five seconds of the fight. It is the fastest knockout in UFC history. Ben fought one more time in UFC, in which he lost. At the end of 2019, he retired from the MMA world and had major hip surgery, so it's doubtful we'll see him in the octagon again. However, in 2020, it was announced Ben Askren would be boxing against YouTuber Jake Paul. Askren was one of the worst strikers in the UFC, but many people still thought he'd beat up some YouTube guy. They fought in April of 2021, and the fight sold 1.5 million pay-per-views, and Askren lived up to his striking reputation and was knocked out in the first round by Jake Paul. But hey, Ben walked away with $500,000, so I doubt he really cares he lost. He made more in one night than he did in his entire time with Bellator. Since fighting Jake Paul, Ben Askren has been dabbling into a lot of things. He's super big on cryptocurrency. He has a podcast, but I mean, who doesn't? He tweets about college wrestling, he plays disc golf, and he also vlogs. He's pretty much become an internet personality since he left the fighting world. Askren is 38, so it's unlikely he'll make a return to MMA, but he did tweet the one thing that would pull him out of retirement, if him and Masvidal were to fight again. I think it would draw in huge numbers, even though they're not in their prime anymore. People wanna know if that flying knee was skill or just right place, right time. People need to put respect on his name. Ben Askren was Khabib before there was a Khabib. When it came to the ground game, no one dominated quite like he did. But because of two knockouts, Masvidal and Paul, I don't think he'll ever get the props he deserves. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. I'm Riley Wynn, see you on the next one.